wet, so I just add a little bit of water. And my paint water's got uh, a lot of blue in it already because I've been painting a whole series of these skies. So you guys can have a look through. I'm gonna make a playlist just for skies in particular. So a lot of you guys really enjoy learning more about painting clouds and sun rays. So I'm gonna take all of these colors and just get this background nice and dark first. So I'll take a little bit of white too and the blue and the black. I'd like to take a scoop of each color and not mix it all on the palette. I think you waste a lot of paint by doing that. I like to, I prefer to mix it onto the canvas and I have a little fun with it. It looks kind of marbled like that. I'm just going to cover the entire canvas. This way you get some areas on the canvas that are gonna be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker in some spots. But see how quick and easy it is when you wet the canvas first, that's the key. It helps to have, of course you need to have a primed canvas, but it's the water that's really gonna help So the canvas is still just a little bit wet. That's okay. It's kind of cool in my studio, so it's taking a long time for it to dry. But I like to play around with a little bit of uh, wet canvas, wet on wet painting technique. So I'll show you guys how we can start creating some really pretty clouds. I'm gonna be using my one inch um, mop brush. So you can use any mop brush that you want, even a stipple brush. If you don't have either of those, you can use a filbert brush. I'm not gonna get it wet. I'm just gonna go straight into my white, kind of just tap like that. You don't want to get your, whoops, you don't want to get your brush wet, um, like put it in the water because you'll ruin that soft uh, fuzzy shape. So I'm just gonna, with a little bit of white here, I'm gonna just start coming around and see what I mean. Look how soft and pretty that is. It's mixing in with those other colors that we painted the canvas with. So I'm just creating little soft circles like this, traveling around with my brush. I'll come in from up here. Now if your brush gets too saturated at any time, try wiping it off on, wiping that excess off on a towel, or it's a good idea to have a few on hand. So I'm just gonna continue to add layers here. So you can go clockwise or counterclockwise, kind of just play around with it. Okay, now before all of that can dry, I'm gonna add some sun rays with one of my flat brushes. I've got this big, number uh, 12 here, flat brush. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of water on it. And then right from here where I've got that white, I'm just gonna start pulling. Use a little bit more water. Take a little bit of white and just kind of wiggle like this. And we can start some really soft looking rays across our sky. Now you can come right across and we can go over those clouds again. This is just showing you guys different things you can do while your paint is wet. It just gets that creamy, buttery look to the paint and I love that. I'm gonna take a filter brush now and I'll show you some more techniques. So this is the number nine. Get some white on the end of my brush here and I'm just gonna start to come in here and add some little half circles.
And actually what's happening here, and this is really fun too, when the paint is wet like this, you can take off some of it. So by taking off the white that we used for the sun rays, it's back to a dark color and that sets those sun rays in there and it looks really uh, quite magical. But I'm gonna take a little bit more white and I'm just gonna add little hints here to really bring that light. Kind of just, you can just see a little bit of it. A little bit like this. I like the way there's some sun rays. They're more subtle, these ones. Right? I like that that's behind some of these clouds. It really gives it a lot of depth. I'm going to take some more white now. Add a little bit more. And then make them a little bit bigger. Okay, again, wiggle to get that shape back. Load the top. That white. Okay, now I'm going to add a staircase and I'm going to go back over to my flat brush. Okay, I'm going to start with, this one's actually a smaller flat brush. This is a number 10. I'm going to take some of that black, maybe a little bit of blue in there. Got a little bit left there I can loosen up with some water. And I'm going to start right from here, a line three inches wide. And then I'm going to start the next one partially over and then just keep continuing. So you're going to make them shorter and you're going to start them a little bit more over to the left then make them smaller and smaller and then we'll have it kind of just disappear around the corner like that then i'm going to go right into my white and i'll start adding a little bit of a highlight here i want this to be more in shadow on this side so i'm not going to do really bright bright highlights what i'm adding here right now is actually going to um, dry a little bit darker. So I think it would be really pretty to add some foliage and a few flowers in here. I'm going to use these two colors, Hooker's Green Hue Permanent and Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, both by the Liquitex Basics Acrylic. I'm going to use uh, another mop brush, one inch, and I'm going to take my yellow, a little bit of that black in there, and look at that gorgeous color that we can make. Isn't that pretty? Take all three colors, mix them up, and then tap, and we'll start, let's just start right about here. Tap, 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 creating some beautiful foliage leading and then just smaller and smaller leading up into the sky okay i'm going to add a highlight 
So I'm just going to add a little bit of white with that yellow. And I'm going to start right about here. And I'll go over to one of my filbert brushes to make that a little bit more tidy looking. I know this is going to dry a little bit darker. You'll see as the painting, uh, as this painting progresses, it'll be a little bit um, darker, but that's why I'm adding. I was a little bit generous with white. And I'm just going to go over to one of my filbert brushes quickly. So I've got my number nine here. And I'm just going to tap lightly in here. Tap, tap, tap. Tapping off of my yellow, green, and white. There's a little bit of black in there too, but not a lot. And we'll just kind of wiggle and squiggle this out here so it starts to just fade. And we can bring some of that grass and flowers and vines and stuff into the stairs. That always looks pretty. I'm going to add another highlight now on my stairs. A little bit of white tinted with some of these other colors. Maybe a little bit of blue and black in there. And you know what? I'm going to add another stair right down here. One more right here. So it kind of gives us that feeling that we can walk right in. I'll take what's left on my brush here. It's turned to this kind of slate bluey green color. And I'm just gonna pull like that from line it up from where this curves around. See right there where the green comes around the corner, it stops right about there. We're just gonna pull off like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in. A little bit of water, that same color with a little bit of white. And we can add a few more clouds in here, little half circles, little loops. Let's take them right across here. Add a little bit more white. Few more sun rays. The next color I'm going to use for some flowers is my Luminous Rose by Holbein. It's a really pretty color. I'll just add it right there. And this time I'm going to use one of my oval mop brushes. This is a one inch and it's by Princeton. If you're curious, these are really nice brushes. I'm going to tap, tap, tap. And we'll just start adding, well, maybe we'll add some taller, taller flowers, maybe some stalks. So because it's narrow like this, we can 
hold it differently and tap some narrower looking flowers. So maybe we've got some uh, foxglove, foxgloves flowers here. I love foxgloves. And I'll add a few more up here. I'm going to kind of give a little bit of an arch to them. These grow in my garden. Uh, they were such a surprise to me when we first moved here, but I'd never planted them, nor could I ever grow them before uh, where I used to live in the Canadian Rockies. But now on Vancouver Island, they just grow everywhere. Um, I think late, late spring. Uh, they're really pretty and they grow really tall. Some of them are so, so tall that it, they start to lean over like this. So just with a little bit of white, a little tapping with the corner of my brush. I can add some highlights, so I'm just kind of tapping like this. And I'm going to add a little bit more, both colors now. And make some of these just stand out a little bit more once they dry. I'm not really sure why I decided to um, paint fox gloves. If you guys uh, like fox gloves and this painting speaks to you, let me know in the comments. Because normally I don't, I don't paint them, but kind of spur of the moment here, I just decided to for some reason. take one of my little liner brushes here and I'll add a little bit of greenery to them so they have these little buds on the top that haven't bloomed yet and they're kind of like light green like this and then they kind of start to blend in with um, whatever color the fox gloves are going to be so that's what I'm doing up here I'm just going to dab 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 for those little buds and then to start to mix in with the little bell-shaped types of flowers. So we'll just make them look a little bit more delicate. a few little brush strokes. I'm going to pick up some of this right here and use that. I'm going to mixture a little bit of the white and that rose again. If you don't have that color, just use uh, you know, like quinacridone violet or really any pink. And of course, want to keep going with them like I am here, just make them smaller and smaller. They're fun flowers to paint, super easy. You don't have to make everything really detailed.
And then I'll continue up here. Just little, little dabs. I'm going to go back to adding some final highlights here on my stairs. I'm just going to take, I'll take uh, maybe both of those colors. They'll be a little bit muted. And I was originally going to keep this more in shadow, wasn't I? But you can just see how things start to take on a life of their own when you don't really have anything overly planned out. This is actually just one of, I had extra paint on my palette from a few other tutorials that I've been working on today. So it's hard to get it back in the tube. And I just wanted to do uh, another little sky tutorial because I'm having so much fun. So just mixing the rose Cad yellow and a little bit of white. I'm going to push like that, make it really skinny. And I can just add these little taps and dabs and they'll look like smaller, farther away foxgloves. a few more soft looking cloud peaks a few more sun rays and I'm using the filbert brush and it's tricky so I recommend using, I always recommend using a flat brush rather than a filbert because you're biting it a little bit that round angle that it wants to make. So to finish this up, I'm going to just tap in a little bit of my yellow and white. a bit of green in there too. We can just go in and clean that up a little bit. Got a few little highlights in here. Maybe coming down over part of the stairs. a little bit more of that pink, white, I'll add a few things right down here. And then I'm just going to kind of, whoops, pull down, wiggle, and then yeah, just kind of make it look a little bit blurry and dreamy like on the bottom. And just wiggle out here. A little bit more of that soft yellow. Oh, 
and a little diagonal paw on an angle here. Caught the edge of one of those flowers, which is fine. You can just tap a few little squiggly lines in here. Okay, well, this was a fun little painting to show you guys, and I hope you got inspired and enjoyed this one. I can't wait to see your versions from these tutorials that I've been adding lately to my channel. It always makes my day to see what you guys have decided to follow along and paint with me. So have a wonderful day, happy painting, and I'll see you guys all soon in another video. Bye everyone!